Hello, in this Python video, we are going to look at the scroll bar widget, it, which is essentially going to be a list of items, and we're going to have a scroll bar with it to be able to slide through the items. So it's pretty simple. So we're just going to create a scroll bar. So scroll bar equals scroll bar window. Then we'll do scroll bar dot pack. And we're going to specify what side it's going to be on. We're going to put it in the right hand side. That's very common with scroll bar. You could put it somewhere else, but I prefer it on the right hand side. And this is going to equal Y. So we know it's moving up and down. And now we're going to create a list. And this list will just be for demonstration purposes to be able to scroll through it using the scroll bar. So we specify the window that we're drawing to the Y scroll command which is just basically what makes it scroll and we'll do scroll bar dot set so whenever the scroll bar is used this will set it i just noted i put scroll bar instead of scroll bar there that was a little mistake on my part now what we're going to do is just fill up our list so we're going to do four line in a range of 1000 so we're just going to put a thousand items in there and you could have whatever sort of items you want. You could be from a database. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. It's going to keep it simple. And we're going to add it to the end. It's going to start with row. And then it's going to have the line number. It's going to be line plus one because this range is between zero and 999. And I just want to start it at one and end it at a thousand. Again, that's just personal preference for this video, not an actual requirement. Do my list dot pack. Now do scroll. Yeah, that's it. I'm missing a bracket there. Yes, now the enter works fine. That would have been caught up during the compilation stage anyway if I had forgot it. Let's go configure our scroll bar. So do a command equals my list dot y view so just when we're scrolling it so in case we scroll it ourselves so obviously we could scroll it and that gets updated and if we scroll it ourselves okay what is wrong it doesn't seem to be Okay, that's all right. Also, I think it's a problem with my mouse, and I probably and the scroll isn't working properly. But it's it, it seems okay. So that was weird why that wasn't working. But that's it for the scroll bar. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about the functions and the different parameters that you can manipulate your scroll bar with. There'll be a link with the video so you can advance even further. If you have any questions, as usual, feel free to reach out and look at the source code provided. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.